Oh, day eight. It's morning this morning. Um, so, um, past the story from yesterday about a relationship I had earlier. Quick update on the status of things. It's very amusing. Um, when my, uh, love went and, uh, got on the dating site, as I had mentioned, she was on there for a bit and pretty shortly thereafter, she hid her profile. Now, why does a woman hide her profile on a dating site? Because it's funny, you'll see, if you go on a dating site, you will see women come on and off, on and off, on and off. Where they're, you, you'll see their profile, you go to click on it, but it's not available. Which means that they are, they got some guy they're working with, but they don't want, but he, they're not sold on that guy. And so they don't want him to know that they're there. So they'll go on the dating site and they'll look at a few options, but they have to reveal themselves shortly. Cause again, for example, if you go on match, you can hide your profile, but if you reach out to someone, they can't see your profile. So you have to reveal yourself. So it's, it's kind of like a balancing act for, for them. And it's quite hilarious. And it's, it's absolutely a revelation of female nature. You know, women gravitate to, the best man that they can get. And again, it's not, this is just how we're evolved. We are apes. And, uh, if you ever have an opportunity, you can go on, uh, YouTube. There's a, uh, there's a documentary on being an alpha male and it's, uh, done by National Geographic and it's all centered around apes and apes interactions with each other and the females in the, in the group and often females will uh, stray even from the alpha because they um, maybe not getting as much attention or who knows because in, in the ape world when the alpha has access to more than one uh, female and uh, you know I, I guess the females want females like uh, procreation as much as the next so you know that's uh, it's an interesting commentary or an interesting uh, to uncover that so the point I'm making is that, so I hopped on the dating site this morning because, as I said, I'm I'm not uh, a supermodel, but in my demographic, I, I present well and I do get a fair amount, or a reasonable amount of interest. I mean, hey, the most mundane woman can hop on a dating site and she'll get all kinds of cucks and orbiters who will, you know, throw her likes and all that kind of shit. But I get enough smiles and winks that it's worth checking out who's doing it. Typically, they're not women I'm going to be interested in. But, you know, if you put enough gravel in the pan, you're going to find some nuggets, gold nuggets. But what was very interesting is that when I hopped on the site this morning and did the general search, well, guess whose picture is up there? And uh, I didn't click on it, but I had another profile that I just thought I'd check. And sure as not, she's on there looking, but she has not revealed herself. So whoever she has taken up with is not meeting the mark. He's either weak or or you know, just not as exciting. Cause I mean, as I said to you guys earlier in this video, I'm an exciting person. Um, you know, always dating, you know, ne never sitting around watching TV. Um, if we weren't fucking, we were out doing stuff. Um, you know, cause our relationship was a nonstop roller coaster of, I think what a woman wants. I mean, with the exception of some of my weak behavior to the end, that's just, which is why, you know, I, I'm, I'm freely admitting that the problem a man has when he gets into a longer term relationship and everything's and all the cylinders are firing, it's like the relationship we have with cars. Um, you know how a car, every guy I know at one point in his life has had a car that he spent too much money on. He bought rims that were too nice. Maybe he got it painted. Maybe he got some performance options. The point is, is that he spent too much money. I'll give you an example. I bought a Mustang earlier this year, a Fox body Mustang, same kind as when I was a kid, five liter Mustang GT. This car is perfect. Original paint. Some guy spent hundreds of hours. He was a tinsmith. He redid the interior. It's like a Terminator car. Um, under the hood, all same story. Hundreds and hundreds of hours because he loved that car because the car represented to him Hey, get a load of me. It's like driving around in your cock. 
and um, the uh, the hilarity, or the hilarity, my benefit, of course, the hilarity and the tragedy is that I bought this car for like seven thousand bucks in the winter, and you know, in the middle of the summer, you know, it's going to sell for at least double that, and it's only going to appreciate because Fox bodies are starting to take off because. You know, middle-aged guys are now, they paid off their house, and they're going, oh, gee, what do I spend this disposable income on? And they go get a nice car. And those cars are just like women. There are guys who will invest too much, as I mentioned earlier, and that's what I did. You know, too much love, too much care. Um, how many times have you had a car that it just kept breaking, and you just kept fixing it and kept fixing it, until finally it broke to the point you couldn't fix it? Anyway, like I said, I'm not going to uh, pretend that I'm the greatest man who's ever lived. But in regard to the dating we had, if we weren't having sex, we were doing lots of fun things. And I know for a fact, because I've dated some women. I was on a date last night with a woman, um, you know, my age. Um, and just, it's very hilarious to listen to the um, number of men that come in and out of their lives that just don't meet the mark from the standpoint of having a regular job, having um, their shit together emotionally or, or mentally, um, having the brains to, you know, set themselves up. It's pandemic. It's hilarious. Because let's face it, good quality men are either in relationships, they understand relationships and they're maintaining them, or they're... Um, just placeholding because it's not a lot of good quality men who come on to the market and stay on the market for long. Case in point, you know, I was on a date last night. I'll be on another date tonight with two separate women. And they're probably both going to be very interested in me having my way with them. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> but anyway, the point is, is that I saw her dating profile come over her, her indication that she was on the site. So clearly whoever she's with or whoever she took her profile down for is not meeting the mark because really why would a woman take a profile down for a man unless he asked her to something you guys this will go into the rules that I'm going to post soon but you never say to a woman hey take your profile down because I need to I need to date you exclusively many you say that a woman is going to run because you're planning the future and you know what that was, that was what I was doing you know it's funny you come to a place of emotionality because I had invested so much in this woman. It's like you, you finish, you finish uh, fixing up your car and it's perfect and ready to go. And you start planning which car shows you're going to go to or which road trips you're going to take behind the wheel of your super cool ride. And that's the case with this girl. You know, she, she's smoking hot, so much fun to be with. And you, every time you walk around, people are looking at you and you know they're going, holy shit. How did he get with her? Same idea. And make no mistake, the mindset that re you guys really should have is that, holy shit, how did she get with him? And to be honest, I know that people thought that because I'm, you know, when I moved through, through the public, I'm a pretty uh, dominant figure. Not not an asshole, but I'm friendly and, and approachable. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a, a large framed man who is, uh, you know, I, I present like a large gorilla. And, uh, you know, you can read the studies that people notice that and, and revere it. So I think that she will have, as I said earlier, I am convinced there is no replacement out there who will even begin to uh, touch the quality of individual that I am and the kind of relationship we had, which is why this project exists, why I believe that it's just a matter of time before she breaks down. And that's what has to happen. In order for this relationship reset to work, she has to break down. She has to break down and she has to be extremely sorry. She has to admit she made a mistake and she has to feel a sense of loss because that is the only way I can get back into relationship with her in a way that will be healthy so I can regain my power and never come to this place again. And I'm willing to do it. That's why I'm doing this project, but this is for you guys out there who are you know, you're in the no contact phase and you're, you know, sometimes 
I, I have a Facebook account, but she doesn't, so it's not like I'm, I'm stalking her on Facebook. Yeah, sure, I saw her profile on the site, but, you know, in a sea of other women, it's hard not to notice her. It's not like I then went and studied it and et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I think that she will absolutely break down and come my way because, um, you know, it is incredibly hard. In my history, all the women I knew, you know, we had... It's funny, all the women that I had in my life, without exception, after a period of time, came back, some stronger than others. And in my history, the mistake that I made was taking them back too quickly. You know, the minute they show up, it's like, oh yeah, baby, let's do this. No, um, they have to work for an opportunity to get back with you. And that's ultimately what I will have her do. Which will do two things. A, it will establish my dominance. And B, it will um, make, you know, nothing feels, you don't value things you don't have to work for. If you're handed a lot of money, then you get an entitlement complex that you deserve a lot of money. Whether you do or not is immaterial. The point is you'll value it less until it's gone. It's like these government workers who make these crazy sums and maybe there's a government restructuring or something and they let go. Well, up until they were let go, they were cock of the walk and everything was fine. And, you know, their paycheck was justified. But the day it leaves, a couple of days later, that, that situation, which was plentiful and abundant, is gone. And all you can do is think about how can I get it back? And that's what this situation is here. We had a situation where, you know, we get when we had sex. This woman would come no less than forty or fifty times, and I swear to Christ, you you you'd be hard pressed to find a woman who can tell a story like that. And um, that simply does not exist out there in the world. Um, I'm not saying it doesn't exist somewhere, but among the normal men who smoke, who drink, who don't look after themselves, basically, if you don't have your shit together in your life, you won't have your shit together physically. And, um, and that's part of being an alpha male is, you know, in, in all areas of my life, I handle my shit and as well as my physicality and, um, and of course, good genetic stock. So anyway, those are the green shoots that I saw today. And I just thought I'd make this video about that. And it's funny, you know, um, that video I made yesterday with that woman I was with first, we had a, a bit of a back and forth relationship. You know, I mentioned to you when, when we got together, she had some, she had some old, or not old, but older retired cop she was having this relationship with that was very abusive, but she kept going back to him because apparently he was a good performer. And um, when we broke up, she, I know she went back to him and like a cuck because I was pretty, you know, I was fresh out of my marriage back then. I was, wasn't the man I am today, put it to you that way. I went back to her and. And over the course of that relationship, I'm, I'm pretty sure that she at least talked to him now and again. Although he did get married um, a few months after we started. So I think that I'm pretty sure she was loyal to me for at least at least a year. Um, but even at, towards the end, she ended up taking off with a guy who um, we joined a curling club. And she ended up, you know, basically a woman will monkey branch. So look for the next one. Depending on the quality of the woman. So again, in the case of my my ex girlfriend, the one I'm, or the my girl, the girlfriend I'm talking about now, it's the the point of this whole project. I don't I don't believe she. Well, she monkey branched a bit from the standpoint that we still were dating and hanging out together when she went on this website as part of our because she wanted the comfort of having me there. But clearly, she hasn't been able to establish anything. Which the bottom line is. That fills me with delight because the, uh, the sand is running out of the hourglass of her ability to stay away from me. And that's very exciting. And, um, I may be projecting my, um, hopes on the future as I talk about this right now, but you know, life's a detective game, right? And I know this girl, I mean, she has a, she has a history in her past. As I mentioned to you, women will often gravitate to the kind of men they've been to it in the past. Now, I'm different than the other men they've been, she's been in the past, but in the case of all the men in the past, at some point she would, she would, has gone back to them. And they were these low-functioning assholes who, you know, 
basically tolerated her and didn't, and they weren't necessarily alpha males either. They're just these, you know, you meet these guys who just like, you know, try to have a conversation with them and they can have a very basic conversation with you, but like, it's basically in line with her personality, which is a, um, avoidant personality type where you'll, you'll indulge in pleasantries and you have, you basically have two faces. You have your business face and you have your personal face. You'll indulge in some pleasantries and you want to have connection, but real deep connections are scared of because of some alienation that people have experienced in their kids. And that sort of defines the guys that she's been with in the past. As I said, I think the thing that kept our relationship so tight together is that the sex was just so over the top for her that she couldn't stay away. That's, that's the bottom line because, uh, you know, she experienced quite a few firsts with me and, and she won't get to experience that again based on her relationship style unless she comes back. And I think that will be, uh, become an overwhelming pressure on her. Anyway, that's uh, today's installment, day eight. If you haven't uh, rated or subscribed, it'd be great because uh, the more guys who do, we can get this thing out there and guys will see my progress in this project. And, um, you know, we're looking for success. If we don't get it, that's fine. I'll also update you on my dating. As I said, I went out with a woman last night. It was pretty good. She was a nice, nice woman my age. I would like a little young woman. I got a 29-year-old lined up tonight. So she's 16 years younger than me. That's what I'm talking about. There's very few problems that the specifications of 29, red, 36, 24, 36 can't solve for a man my age. Thanks, guys.